anyway, uh, so this is going to be a part two. But, um, yeah, reconstruction is great for vintage for a simple reason. You stack your Black Lotus. For one blue, you can bring it back again. And it's actually not even restricted. You can have a play set of these. And they're to reserve list card. But it's not even restricted, and it should be. Another Ornithopter there. So this deck looks bigger than it actually is. It's because of all the sleeves. It's only actually like 90 cards. Uh, grafted Exoskeleton. So what I usually will do as a game-ending threat is after I've gained enough life with the Ventures Journal over a while, I then use Channel to... Uh, one of the things I'll do is bring out em Big Emrakul, give it Eldrazi Conscription, the Grafted Exoskeleton, and um, Swiftfoot Boots, and you will lose. Literally, uh, now uh, it's it's going to be like a thirty, a thirty-two, thirty-two fl uh, flying trample infect hexproof haste. You get the extra turn protection from any colored spells. I mean, you are screwed. You can't win. Fun fact, though, Ornithopter can actually block Big Emrakul. It is a colorless flyer. Uh, fork. That's a good one. Fork is great because, um, especially with Mycosynth in, in play, it's no longer red. You can play, you can, I, I can literally play a Black Lotus and actually divvy up the colors. Everything is played as if it were manifest from every color. So I could just fork an Ancestral Recall and give myself six cards. Um, underwater, or, uh, what is it, Underground Sea? That's a, I love the, the I love the, the art on that one. Um, spell book is great. Zero mana artifact it gives you no maximum hand size, so you can just start the game with that. Uh, the old demonic tutor that's an alpha as well. Um, so yeah, I got it. Like I said all the original dual lands. Got, um, yeah, that effect on Mycosynth, I think, is one of the most underrated effects that it has, is that it allows you to play mana as if it were mana of any color. Because what that allows you to do is, instead of having to choose one color for Black Lotus, you can just play it as three mana of whatever color you want. Um, you have to pick a color, but you can spend it as whatever. It's, it's an arbitrary th uh, choice. Yeah, Here's my big Emrakul. I like the art on this one, although I do have the regular one. I like the art more. Just, I like that look of, of her just looming over everything. Right? I just pu pulled this one the other day, the Timeless Lotus. Uh, costs five, but it doesn't sack itself. Um, it, it enters tapped, but I'll show you later on. I have Amulet of Figure. And you can add one of each color. So that's not bad. Um, another, I have another uh, Revival Revenge. It's always a good one. I have a play set of Bolts. And I have a play set of the original OG Counterspell. It's my Mox Sapphire. That's uh, always a good one. Iona's Shield of em Emeria, or Emeria. Um, I pick a color. And you can't cast spells with that color. Here is my Karn, the Great Creator, which is, I play, I, I can play this on turn one with um, Black Lotus, and uh, I can either use Channel, or uh, I can either Black Lotus into Channel and um, Fast Bond, or I can Black Lotus into uh, four uh, three copies of Ancestral Recall, and bring this in, then bring the Mycosynth Lattice in, and on turn one, you're completely locked out of the game. You can't tap your lands for mana. Or your Black Lotus or anything else. You literally don't get mana. Um, Overwhelming Forces is a great card. This is from Portal 3 Kingdoms. And you destroy all of your opponent's creature uh, creatures and then draw a card for each one you destroyed. So it's great against token decks. Um... Corrupted Conscience, I think, is an underrated card. 
I can take con permanent control over any uh, any any of your creatures and give it infect. Um, I have little Emrakul here, little baby Emrakul. Soul Ring. So uh, this is a this is a revised. Or actually, no, this might be unlimited. Um, I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, it might. Yeah, I think it's unlimited. Um. Soul Guide Lantern, just a little bit of Graveyard Hate in there. I was going to add Termod's Crypt, but I'm like, ah, Soul Guide only, uh, only costs one instead of zero, and it's not that. I only have one copy. Uh, there's your Fast Bond. Let's me play every, as many lands as I want each turn without, and all I have to do is take a, a ping for each one. Yeah, the original OG counter spell. This one, these are revised. Um, another copy of Broker's Ascendancy. So with the Broker, oh, what I can do is just start generating a, like an absolute crap ton of 3-3 um, three, three elk tokens, and then every single turn they get stronger. And Broker gets another loyalty counter as well. Uh, Miliar Selvic Outcast is great for dealing with Infect decks. Um, time Twister. I don't even really need Time Twister. I just figured if you're going to have the rest of the power nine might as well have this one right um blight steel colossus that's always a good one yeah there's your forsaken monument you get a plus two plus two eight for each colorless creature anything that any permanent that taps for one colorless taps for two instead and every time i get i play a colorless spell i get two life Dovin's veto platinum angel i might just sideboard this actually but you know, why not? Why not have it in there? I don't know. Gaia's Gift gives your... Uh, you put a, what, a plus one, plus one on a target creature. It gets Reach, Trample, Hexproof, and Indestructible for the, the turn. Um, Glorious Sunrise. That's a good one. Chromatic Lantern. Karn Liberated. That's always a good one, too. Yeah, there's your Amulet of Vigor. Mind Break Trap. That's a nice one. Ugin the Spirit Dragon. So yeah, oh, and Foundry Inspector. That's always a good one too, because what I can eventually do with it, with this and Forsaken Monument, and I can my Soul Ring is now cost me nothing, and I can tap it for four instead of two. So that's pretty good. All right, so that's part two. Uh, that is my vintage deck. That's what I compete with.